Whole another level than any other salai masak lemak we've ever had. Really one of the boldest flavored dishes you will eat in Malaysia. Never had anything like this in KL. No. Oh, wow. down from KL to a new state for us. First time here in Negri Sembilan, AKA the ninth state, and we're in Saravan for the day. And gonna be eating a lot of food. So first off, going to Pasar, Pasar um, Saravan. Wow. I can just smell the aroma here now. So hungry now. Ooh. This is the upstairs, this is like the food court spot. Wow, the market. it smells delicious. Okay, so this all is Yongki Mihun Soto. So actually, Sue, her family is from this state. So that's why we're also very comfortable of coming here with them. And they, they are the ones leading this door. We're just tagging along with them. <laughs> this is what we have. We got here the bihun sotong. So there's actually slices of pork in here too. There's vegetables, the bihun, the thin rice noodle. There's a bit of a gravy here too. I'm really interested about this because this is, never heard of this before coming to Sarabai. I know it's one of the famous stalls here to try. Mm, it smells like very smoky. Whoa. This kind of like has a funky smell. Like um, inner smell yeah. in a way. Not like funky funky, but yeah. like inner smell. Ooh. Sorry. I love the broth. Not salty. It's like it's got really that smoky like, taste just like it smells. That's what I'll say. Okay. And uh, there's the pork in here. Like meat pork. Pork belly slices. Belly yeah. slices. There's no innards, so interesting. Mm. And then we have chili paste. So we finished our mimon soto. Now we're on to our second meal of the day, yes. which is the Saramban beef noodles. Maybe the most famous dish in all of Saramban. Uh, it's a very unique style of beef noodle. I mean, we love beef noodles. We had them a lot in KL. Never seen one looks like this. It's, it's very a, interesting. Yeah, very like gloopy texture of the sauce. A lot of different cuts of beef. She asked if I take all the innards because you know, not so sure, right, Marner? Yes, I do. So, got all these little cuts of beef here. Nice looking pieces. There's peanuts. There's sesame seeds. This yeah. is a. Uh, it could be like stomach lining. Beef stomach lining. Smell first. It's not as funky. Actually, the Mihon Sotong has more funky smell to it. It's not really funky, but it has like a hint of funk taste, funk smell, Mihon Sotong. This one, the beef noodle, it's different. Uh, it has no funk smell at all, even though they have innards in here. The noodles themselves look very interesting and slippery. Let's give it a go. With that kind of texture, I was expecting something sweeter. It's not at all. It's very much savory. You got a little bit of pickled veg, a little five spice flavor. It's delicious. And I love the cuts of beef. Wow. I'm holding this lining and I need to eat it. Mmm, wow. Mm. No funk at all. It's so smooth, chewy, no funk taste, no hint of it at all. Zero. Wow, noodles. Mm. As Greg was saying, the noodles are very slimy. So thick as well. Wow. Never had anything like this in KL. No. Wow. It is interesting. In a good way. Yeah, I love it. Really well balanced, I will say. You'd order these as a soup, but we really wanted the dry. They're very famous with the dry noodle. We prefer dry noodles usually. I think we got made the right choice. Mm. Stop one and stop two, done. All in this little big place. 
Yeah, so apparently uh, this was renovated due to a fire, so it's actually all new. It used to be kind of like the downstairs wet market, according to our friend Sue. Yes, and the great thing about this place is everyone is so nice, yeah. so friendly, so welcoming, smiling everywhere, yeah. and yeah, it's... We love the vibe, like the aunties and uncles chilling, reading the papers, smiling, oh, where are you from, where are you from, hope you liked it, so yeah. sweet. Like, definitely has like the small town, like friendly vibe here in Saruman so far. For a small town, they have a very huge market. Well, I guess it's not so small. It's like kind of small city, maybe we'll say. Small city, okay. Do you call it small town or small city? This is Sue, our <laughs> local <laughs> guide. Call it a town? Small town or small city? It's definitely getting bigger, but <laughs> I would still call it a town. Okay. okay. Must visit this market. <laughs> Wrong road, sorry guys. All good. Here our next spot, Shopao Master, because Seremban is very famous for our baked Shopao. So that's what we're gonna try here. So we have our Shopao. We're yes. so excited. These look great. They're baked. We're very used to the steam ones. These yeah. are baked. We're curious what it's going to be like. So we have that two pork, one each. We're not sharing. Then we have a uh, kaya puff, and we got coconut tart. I read about this. I read about it being good. It looks delicious. We also got a uh, butter cake here. We got a butter cake on the side for the road, because <laughs> he said it's delicious. So why not? So yeah, here you go. That nice glaze, oh, it's still warm too. That nice brown color, it's still nice and warm. Mmm. So nice and flaky. It's a nice ratio of the pork filling to the pastry. That's what I like about it. So they don't skimp on the filling here. Very nice. Mmm. We have bits of kaya oozing out of the side. The kaya in this one is very coconutty. A little bit of the pandan, not too sweet. Oh, I love it. Coconut tart. Coconut tart is definitely unique too. It's like Pretty flaky and crumbly exterior here, but then you have the shredded coconut and it's green. Assuming there's some pandan in there. Also nice. I think these are really a favorite local spot because there's so many people coming in here just taking their shopao or any pastries to go. So it's totally a must if you are here in Suramban. Non-stop eating now. Having yes, chendol from Haji Sharif Chendol. It's a very famous spot here in Saraban. Open since the 1930s in a really old, beautiful building, over 100 years old building. this place. This place started in the early 1930s. It start, it's now on its third generation. This is their permanent business location but it started on a push cart um, by the current generation's grandfather who came in in the early 30s. Wow. And the chendol that we're having is with Puluk. Mm. That first bite is excellent. The, the gula malaka is very fragrant. The ice is very finely grated. And I love the coconut milk is nice and creamy. Oh, it's really good. I love how they serve it in this metal bowl. I don't know, add something to it. It's perfectly refreshing right here. Oh, I love the sticky rice. Oh, awesome.
here we're on a pit stop from all the food for some culture. Learn more about Negri Sembalan and we're at the um, was it Museum Negri, the State Museum. It actually says Museum N9 on the outside. So this is beautiful architecture here. It's the Minang Kabao style. So that's the people from Sumatra. Traditional uh, cuts. Actually, we're here just to burn off <laughs> some calories and getting some steps in before we go another round of makan makan or eat eat eat. <laughs> and learn, get a little culture too. Yeah, yeah for why sure. not? It's our first time here, so let's do it. Yeah, the sun's out. So we're here at the outside part of the museum and it's nice they kind of like make it into like their own a separate complex there's um, a replica of how old or traditional houses used to be like interestingly just read that the style of architecture is Minangkabau architecture it's kind of pointed at the top to resemble buffalo horns this is so nice this is a 200 year old house let me take you a little bit tour of the inside to see what it's like. Mind your head. really worthwhile spot to check out. I feel like you're kind of stepping back in time and you go into these old buildings. You get to learn more about the state. We didn't really know much about N9. Now we know a little bit more. <laughs> we are out in the Kampong. That's right. About a half hour outside of Seremban. The neighbor, I think it's called Rambau. And we're going, there's a little hint for you here. There's uh, wood and there's smoke. One of our favorite dishes in all of Malaysia. We're gonna try it in the home state. We're so excited. Yes. Let's go. The dish that we're gonna have up next, we've had it before, but as what Greg said, it's gonna be the first time we're gonna have it on its home state. So flavorful, oh, I cannot wait to have it. I love it. that we're here in the Kampong tour on the side of the road. You know, these roadside spots are always awesome. Classic. This dish calls for lots of rice. So we're gonna have lots of nasi. Why not? Coconut. We are ready to eat. Although we've been eating all day, we're still ready to eat now. We have kampung chicken salai, so smoked chicken in this rich masak lemak yellow gravy. It smells good. We got that, we got duck, we have ikan keli, aka catfish, beef, we have mushroom, banana stem, container of temple yak, because why not? We're durian lovers. I don't know, where do they get? Okay. Wow, that is really smoked mm. chicken. Mm. That duck is out of control, so smoky, it's really fiery. Rich gravy, oh my god. Mm. Whole nother level than any other salai masak lemak we've ever had. Oh man. See why this place is so popular? Really one of the boldest flavored dishes you will eat in Malaysia, by far. Can't talk about it anymore, let's just eat. <laughs> And it's been a beautiful, beautiful, lots of eating day and a little bit of exploring here in Negeri Sembilan. If you guys are watching this, if you haven't been to this state here in Malaysia, it's worth a visit. And that museum was also worth a visit. Mm -hmm. So it's this beautiful place. Uh, one of the best meals straight up. Incredible. Uh, we really got incredible experience for our first time in this state. So I think we got a, a good well round experience. Give us any recommendations for a future visit to Negri Sembilan in the comments. Yep, I know we definitely have to hit a lot more spots here, 
but so far it's been so good so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye